Hello, May class, and welcome to a quick recap of what we spoke about in our maths lesson, um, our live lesson. So in our live lesson, we went through some of the methods that we were using during our multiplication. Um, so I'm going to go through them with you just to recap. The idea of these was that um, you would be able to try them and then see which one worked best for you. So don't want you getting confused with all of them. These, it's important that you make sure you use whichever one works for you. So I have got my page that I'm going to share with you now. Um, I'm quickly going to draw our, um, our, our place value chart. So I'm going to do it like that. And obviously this would be our tens, that would be our ones. And then I'm going to be drawing the other ones. So we're going to use the same question for all, um, for all of the working out, just so you can see how they are laid out differently. So I'm going to work with 25 times by three. Okay, so that is our question. With the formal written method, it is laid out like that. We have this one times by three. And then we also have this one. 25. Okay, so these were some of the methods that we went through together. So let's talk through them. So the question is 25 times by three. With our place value mat, you need to have three equal groups because we are dividing it, or sorry, we're timesing it into three equal groups. And in each group, we would have 25. So I'm going to do a 20, and I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. That's one group. 20, one, two, three, four, five. Last one, 20, one, two, sorry, that's 20. And then our five, one, two, three, four, five. So we've got three groups of 25. Now, all we have to do is add up these. So we can go five, 10, 15, which means we have one there, we have five there, and we have one counter that moves to there. Then we have two, four, six, plus that one gives me an answer of 75. So that's how we would use the place values. With this one, where we split them up, you are timesing um, this one by three and this one by three, and then you're adding them together. So five times three is 15. And then 20 times three is 60. You would add them together and get an answer of 75. With this one here, it is showing you, so the first one would be five times by three, because we're timesing it into there. Then we times it into there. So it would be 20 times by three. And five times three is 15. 20 times by three is 60. And then you add them together and you get a total of 75. And then this way, is very similar to this one, but we're not showing these steps in the middle. So five times three is 15. So I'm gonna put the five there and the 10 into the tens column. So the, uh, 20 times by three is 60 plus the 10 that's there would make it 75. And the one that I haven't actually put on here, and let me just see if I can move this, there we go, is the number line one. So I'm gonna draw a number line here. And the idea is that you start at zero. And I'm going to use a different color so we can see this. I'm going to start at zero. I'm going to break my number up because I know that 25 is the same as 10, 10, and 5. 
and I'm going to times each one of those numbers by three. So that's going to be 10 times three, 10 times three, five times three. So 10 times by three, 10 times by three, and five times by three. And 10 times by three will take me to 30. 10 times by three is another 30, which I'm going to add to this, which takes me to 60. And then five times three is 15, even if you write them in there to help you work that out. Um, 60 plus 15 is 75. So those were the, the different ways of working it out. What we wanted you to do was to choose which one worked best for you. So make sure that when you're working it out, obviously choose the one that you think you understand the best and use that one.